So yes, a very important aspect of the downtime and recovery process is how you feel about your healing process. So the day after you have a facial plastic surgery procedure, you're gonna be swollen, you're gonna look different, and you might not feel emotionally ready to go out and go about your normal daily life. The thing about facial plastic surgery compared to other parts of the body is that it's very hard to hide much of your appearance from the world in your day-to-day -day life. To that degree, um, yes, there is a mental emotional component of, oh, I look different now that I've had surgery on my face to change my appearance. The gravitas of that is sometimes underestimated. When people think about, I want this change for my appearance, and then once it happens, you know, it takes a little getting used to. And for people, it can be different that amount of time during which I say, hey, I look different, I'm uncomfortable with it, to the point of, hey, I look different, I'm enjoying it. And so that mental, emotional transition, that varies from patient to patient. For other people, it's really quick because that's really what they wanted, it's what they were going for, and Thankfully, their physical recovery and downtime period is relatively short. They embrace that change and they go out into the world with confidence and that's great for everybody. With other people, I can think of one patient in particular who had upper and lower eyelid surgery with me. It turns out she was a little less emotionally mature than we had initially thought when it came to her appearance. And so she felt shy. We were here to answer her phone calls, to correspond with her. She would send us pictures of how she looked and we would reassure her that her post-surgical process was going well. And sometimes it does require that extra little TLC that my team and I give to our patients. When you have surgery with me or you have a non-surgical procedure with any of my staff, it's very important to me and to our team that you have our full support during your recovery process, no matter how short or how long it is. So with every surgical patient, they have my personal cell phone number and I always call them the next day to make sure, hey, are you doing okay? How you're feeling today or any instructions about your post-operative care? And my line's always open and I even have them sometimes text pictures to me you know, to say, hey, oh, I analyzed your picture, you know, this is within the normal limits of your healing process and there's nothing to worry about. Or sometimes it might be a little more swollen than usual and I'm able to talk with the patient to say, hey, you know, if we need to check it out sooner, we can check it out sooner. And so there's always an open line of communication um, between everyone here and with our patients. When it comes to non-surgical procedures, if it's Botox, if it's laser, you know, people have questions after they leave the office. You know, is it supposed to feel this way? Is it supposed to look this way? We always have an open line of communication. We always have certain protocols in terms of, oh, you can apply, you know, this product or you can take this supplement, something to help expedite the recovery process. You know, I always tell surgical patients, a relatively low cost thing that you can do prior to and immediately after surgery is actually to eat some pineapple because pineapple, the fruit, contains an enzyme, which is bromelain, and that helps bring down your swelling and bruising faster. So depending on your mental, emotional state in your post-operative journey, uh, we're here for that and we're here for you.